Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 6 of the power screw series. The press shown has a rated load of 5,000 pound force. So this press that you're looking in this picture can apply 5,000 pound force clamping force uh, or compressing uh, a specimen. The thin screw have acme threads. So the threads are here different we solve problem with the square threads and acme threads here the threads are or acme that means that in our equation we have that second alpha if you remember the alpha 2 alpha was 29 degrees so alpha was 14 and a half degrees that we need to plug into our equation a diameter of 2 inch so that's the diameter of our screws is given to us and a pitch of one fourth of an inch. The coefficient of friction are 0 0.05 for the threads and 0 0.08 for the collar bearings. Uh, so these are the collar bearings and these are the threads that are engaged here. So these are the, the two coefficients of friction that we need to work with. Collar diameters are 3.5 inch. The gears have an efficiency of 95% and a speed ratio of 60 to 1. So here we have a gearing mechanism. Why do we use gearing here? Because we are going to increase the torque and we are sacrificing the speed. The speed ratio is 60 to 1. So we are reducing the speed 60 times and to increase the torque 60 times. We have a warm gear set here. Actually, the image for warm gearing set, the two shafts are not parallel, so the warm would be actually going into the surface. Uh, but here we have an increasing torque between the two, and then here we have another increase uh, in torque and reduction in speed. So it's kind of a double reduction system. But overall, what we care is that we get that ratio of 60 to 1. The speed of the, our motor or power supply is 1720 RPM. Based on the reduction, we can find the speed of each gear that we have. The spare gears that is given to us. The first part of the problem is asking us how fast will the screw head move. And the screw head has to do with the speed of these spare gears and the lead of the screw. Let's write our known values first. So we know this press is creating 5,000 pound force. And then we can divide that because we have two screws. We can call each 2,500. And overall would be 5,000. The diameter of the screw is given to us, two inch. The pitch is given to us. The lead would be the same as the, the pitch because it's a single start or when the problem does not indicate anything different, we assume the lead and the pitch would be the same. Here I have put the units for the lead because we need that for finding the velocity later on. So the lead by definition means that how far it moves per revolution. So that's one fourth of an inch per revolution. The mean diameter or the pitch diameter, the equation is the same as the square threads. If our threads were UN threads or metric threads, then it would have been more complicated. Uh, but for square and acme threads, the height and the width are uh, half a pitch. The coefficient of frictions are given to us. The friction diameter of the collars the RPM for the power supply that are connected with the with the warm gear set so they are the same RPM. We know the gear ratio so we can find the reduction that we have and then totally the problem is, is saying that our gear system is gonna have 60 to 1. So we don't know what gear reduction do we have at the first contact and what gear reduction we have for the second set of gears. Overall, it would be 60 to 1. And, all that, and that's what we care about. 
So we find the RPM of our screw system and the two RPMs are the same for the two screws. Obviously the diameters are the same and we want them to be the same because we want it to go at the same speed. But the problem is asking for uh, the velocity and so we can we can look into that so the velocity would be the rpm times lead the rpm tells us revolution per minute and the lead will tell us how far we go per revolution so if we cross out the revolution i can find inch per minute and that's what we need with for the velocity we are not going to put it into any other equation so we don't need to do any unit conversion otherwise we might have needed to change this inch per minute to foot per minute or uh, meter per second. The second part of the problem is asking for the horsepower of the motor. Not the horsepower or the power of the screw system, but the motor. So we need to pay attention to that. We have the gear ratios and we, we, we can find that as well. But one key aspect of this problem is telling us that the efficiency is 95 percent so 95 percent of the power is transmitted from the our power supply to our gearing system so we are going to see how we can incorporate that efficiency normally we are dealing with 100 percent efficiency so we are saying the power is the same just there would be a ratio of uh, torque and RPM that is changing but for the case of 95% efficiency then that ratio is not the same and the output is 95% of the input if I want to write it in terms of the torque and the RPM I know whatever the screw is getting would be 95% and that's how we incorporate efficiency in our power equations not just for this problem but for any other uh, problem that we, we want what we can find we have the rpm of the screw we found it based on the rpm of our power supply so we have this value we need to find the torque that it takes if we find the torque then then we are done we have this part and if you divide it by 0 0.095 we can find the power of our uh, power supply to find the torque we have the clamping force. If you remember, we had 5,000 clamping force in total, or we could have divided it into two, saying that there are two 2,500 for each case, and then we can find TR1 and TR2 for each case, and then add them up. So conceptually, we can divide it, find the corresponding torque, and add the torque, or just not divide it from the very beginning. Just call it 5,000, and then directly we're gonna find the torque. So we have the equation for raising the load. We have this F value, so we don't need to divide it. We have the mean diameter, we have the lead. We have the coefficient of friction for each case. The diameter of the collar, the second alpha, alpha would be 14 and a half in this scenario. Then we can find the torque that the screw needs, total torque that both the screw needs to create this clamping force. So this equation is always us, gives us a relation between the clamping force and torque. And if you plug it into the equation here, this is the power equation, and then this we divide it by 0.95 to get the horsepower of the, the motor. So the motor needs to have more horsepower. This 0.95 in the denominator would actually increase the torque. Because we have some loss in our system, we need to apply higher power to get uh, sufficient power for our screw system. So that is the horsepower of the system which is pretty good with 0.5 with a power supply of 0.5 uh, we could create a 5,000 pound force with using a gear system to reduce the speed increase the torque and uh, create that clamping force one conceptual question could be how can we increase this clamping force what if we want more than 5,000 what can we do what are the four or five 
uh, changes that we could make to create higher clamping force.